Good morning, and in this video, I wanna talk about one of the most common mistakes that I see founders and sales leaders make. And anyone who follows my journey knows I love a bit of data, so I've actually pulled up the laptop, a few stats I wanna read out, and then let's talk about them. So the first stat here is the fact that on average, organizations generate 1,877 leads per month. This is according to HubSpot. Now, let me scroll down here because there's a couple of other statistics I wanna to touch on here as well. So let me just get down here. So one of the other ones is the fact that 41% of companies struggle to quickly follow up with leads. That's according to a study by Verse. And then on the same study by Verse, they say that almost half of all sales reps are too busy to follow up with leads. So 44% of sales reps classify themselves as too busy to follow up with leads. Now, there's another stat here. Poor lead quality is the top complaint among sales teams handling inbound queries. So 44% of sales reps complain about lead quality. So let's take some of these points and talk through them because really the message from this video and the, one of the biggest mistakes I, I observe is the fact that sales leaders and founders do not have a program or a system or an initiative in place to do effective continuous follow-up with their leads. So now if we think about this, HubSpot has said that an average company is getting thousands of leads per month, right? Now, if you're in this situation where you've got this massive lead pool and the large majority of it is untapped. I mean, according to the data here, over half of it is going to be untapped at any given time. Think about that. Think about the opportunity that is just being sat there, left dormant, that is no one is taking action on. I mean, dependent on the size of your company, that could be thousands, hundreds of thousands, or millions of pounds or dollars simply being left on the table due to a lack of follow-up. Now, the main reason I often see this happening is actually because when you think about it, you are reliant on a human, you are reliant on a person to do that follow-up instead of having some form of system in place to do that follow-up for you in a really targeted and focused way. And that's exactly why, exactly what we do as an organization is we build automated client acquisition systems that not only bring on board clients, but also do the follow-up in an automated fashion so that you're in a situation where you're not missing out on that 56% of leads that are just being sat dormant. Now, if you're a founder or a sales leader in a situation where you have a sales team at the moment and you wanna to start to get them encouraged with doing follow-up, you need to create a system, a program, or an initiative around it. You can't sit there and have 56% of your leads just sat dormant and just having all of that untapped revenue that could be sitting there and it's just low-hanging fruit, right? These are leads that probably have some form of expression of interest or in some way they've engaged with your organization and you've just got them sat there. It's criminal. It's criminal. So either put yourself in a position where you create a program, a system or an initiative or reach out to an organization or someone like myself, go on my LinkedIn profile, click the let's scale button, then click view. Go on our website, www.fetch.ai, scroll down to the bottom and schedule a call. And we can set this up in an automated fashion for you. But you've got to do one of the two. You've either got to get your team systemized and create an initiative around them, or you've got to engage an organization like us so we can set it up in an automated fashion for you. But in any given event, it's criminal to have over half of your leads sat there not being followed up on, not being nurtured, not being warmed up to put you in a position where you can truly maximize your company and your organization's revenue. So if that's you, don't waste any time and make sure you make a difference on this today. I hope this video has been helpful to you in some way and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.